Let's talk about E flat. Here's the first thing that comes to my mind with E flat on guitar. An A shaped bar chord at the sixth fret. Here's the next thing I would think of, uh, something like this, which is a C shaped chord kind of crossed with a D shape over here. That's based at the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth frets. We can shorten that up by taking off the pinky and just hit uh, four strings. That'd be an E flat with a G bass note. I just call it E flat. I don't worry about it too much. That's a good sound. Or you could take off the ring finger and just keep this little D shape with your index. Remember that's barred flat across three strings at the third fret, middle fingers on second string, fourth fret. Cool, so to review, we got this, 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 this. Or you could rebuild that like a D shape with index middle ring. Those are all E flat chords. You might have noticed on this first E flat, my index is hitting the sixth string at the sixth fret. So I'm pressing on two. So if I hit all six strings, I'm getting a, an E flat with a B flat bass note. That's a fifth in the bass, which sounds pretty good. Versus, hear the difference? They're pretty close, but the E flat with the B flat is a little thicker. So nobody's really gonna notice that a whole lot. All right, so add that. Now let's start having some fun. Chase down this guy. That looks just like an E chord, only we're way up to the fifth fret and one string towards the ceiling. So my index finger is on G, fifth fret, fourth string, middle, sixth string, or sixth string, sixth fret, ring, fifth string, sixth fret. Ooh, I made a mistake and hit the third string open. Check it out. That works because that's a G. G is the major third of an E flat. So we can start to take advantage of that G string here. that be a E flat with a B flat bass note. So that's a B flat, E flat, G. That'd be your triad, inverted. And if you want to throw in that open G. You gotta be careful, you don't want the B string because that's gonna be a sharp fifth. And then your high E string would be a uh, sharp, uh, flatted second. So that's pretty far out. We don't really want those right now. Cool, so add that one really easy. All right, let's do a couple more. Here's a cool one down here. That'd be a B flat, an E flat, and a G. Open G string. So that's first fret, first fret, open. Fifth string, fourth string, third string. That's super cool. Let's add a major third in the bass. Oh my gosh, that's kind of hard. That sounds pretty grand. So that's third fret G, B flat, E flat, and G. See, once you know the formula and the notes, you just need a root third and a fifth. You can find them wherever you want. You could do something like, uh, check this out. I just constructed that. That's a major third, a root, and a fifth. That's beautiful. A three, Six, eight. Oh boy, I was trying to make a melody thing. That's kind of a weird chord, isn't it? But look how your hand, you know, your hand has, you have got to think kind of wide and curl them, arch them up. <laughs> good exercise. Good for the ear, good for your fingers. You know, if you got really sick of E-flats, come up with something new. Eventually, this gets a little boring, but I like it. But... Wow, I love that. 
Well, there's a whole bunch more. You can just keep going. Let's cut it off there. That's E flat. Just a few ideas. Um, you need to do that in all 12 keys. Find them, figure out the notes, make triads, um, cover the whole neck, and just knock yourself out. Have a lot of fun. You can do it. It's really easy. You just got to find your notes. Simple. And then it's three notes. Just figure out your triad. Go to town, and you are cooking, man. All right. Thanks.